Hey, Joy Connectors! Love you guys! So happy to talk to you today. Here's the topic. Career. Dun dun dun. So many people have asked about life purpose and finding fulfillment in their career or just a little bit more than getting by in what feels like the soul-sucking or the dead-end job. So let me first just give you a break and say, I get it. I get it. I hear you. I've been there. Number two, it doesn't have to be this way, people. Why? Because you're in charge of your perspective. And there's another way of looking at this, which is there is no wrong situation. There is no wrong time. Everything's happening in the perfect timing for your benefit as life unfolds. There are lessons, but there aren't mistakes. That's one way of looking at it. It's a way that I choose to look at it. And when I get down and have a hard time finding that place, my teachers remind me of that lesson. So let me give you that gift first. That's number one. So if we're in ownership of our perspective, then is there another way of looking at that job or number one reason why people have a hard time in a job or why they leave a job, the boss, difficult relationships, right? This relationship with your boss, with a superior, perhaps it's even with a peer, is so causing conflict and rubbing you the wrong way because it's a reminder of some dark corner or dark shadow within you that has probably played out in other scenarios and other relationships and you just can't figure this one out. You can't find out why you're still in the same thing. Why does it keep recreating itself in these relationships if they would only, you know, fill in the blank, whatever that is, whatever that frustration is for you. So these sacred relationships, I call them sacred because they're such important teachers and they're so painful, so they get our attention and wake us up. And I have had plenty of these teachers, thank you so much, <laughs> as I gritted my teeth through it. But I'm here to tell you there's an easier, softer way, and that's to look at it with as much gratitude as you will allow yourself to have in it. As you can take the pause and choose a different way, choose a different perspective, a different thought. By what is this person trying to teach me? If all of these things are happening for my benefit, what is the lesson here? What am I gaining from this? What's my part in this scenario? What am I contributing to? What have I created here? What's my side of the story? What's my side of the street? Because as we know, no one is to blame. We're adults making decisions. So what's going on here for me? And what is this person trying to teach me? What is the universe trying to offer me in this lesson? Now it may be that you don't need to be in this job anymore. You can choose something else. It may need to be you can take your power back. You are giving too much power to this other individual and not only your own choice in this scenario. Whether that's a perspective, whether that's an op opportunity to speak for yourself, whether that's an opportunity to be of higher service in this scenario and think about what you're bringing to the table versus what you're getting from this scenario. These are all options. The other is to know that every life experience is additive. 
So trust me, I had many, many years in my 20-year corporate career where I thought, where is this leading? <laughs> always looking to get out. There was always some part of me, even in great jobs, with intellectually stimulating work, interesting, supportive, terrific people, fun people, and good financial benefit, I'm still looking at the door. <laughs> Thinking there's got to be something else here for me. And frankly, there was. But every moment, every lesson in my corporate career, in my personal life, has led to this moment, to this experience, which is pretty good, people. <laughs> life is pretty good now. It's great. It's fantastic, some would say. I'm a grateful woman. All of these experiences have led to this one. I use so much of my corporate experience in my business. I was not ready one day before the day that I gave notice. <laughs> to begin this spiritual work, to begin Joy Connector, or Red Shoes Dance before that. I needed every bit of my experience. All of what I'm gaining today will lend to my next adventure I, that I know is providing me support and strength and lessons in my career in my growth, in my development. So a couple takeaways. Keep in mind you are the owner of your perspective. Choose joy, choose pain. Choose gratitude, George blame. You choose. You get to choose. I know which one I'd choose. So that's one. Two, everything's happening for your benefit. No time is wasted. The only time wasted is the time you're spending in blame, in dissatisfaction, in apathy. But all experiences are happening for you. So what do you want to take away from this one? What lesson do you want to find in the challenge? You choose. I know what I choose. You choose. And three, what can you bring to the table? What of the incredible assets that you have for the beautiful being that you are, what can you bring to the table to be of highest service? whether it's a smile in the morning, <laughs> whether it's taking on a new project, whether it's a kindness, whether it's pausing, whether it's a moment of silence, big or small, how can you be of greater service? That's fulfillment, people. That's where you get fulfillment. It's on the inside. Inside job. So there you have it. There's a little career advice for today. But if you'd like to talk more about it, I've got a whole offering around this, the Joy Mentorship. So feel free to sign up for a free session if you want to have